Hey, what's up? I just want to do something a little different and fun today. I'm going to be trying on a couple different outfits. The whole point of this video is to show you how I would dress as a music producer and DJ. And hopefully I can give you a few tips on helping you with your personal style. The reason why I'm doing this today is that I want to expand on the content that I provide you guys because I think there's only so much sound design and techniques that I can show you. And I think that there's a lot more that goes into becoming a successful music producer than just sound design and techniques. So my goal is to provide you various aspects that you can improve on so you can become a more well-rounded person and consequently a more successful music producer. Again, there's more that goes into becoming music producer. There's the marketing aspect, networking, you have to learn social media, graphic design, and not to mention develop healthy living habits. And of course, having a sense of personal style. And of course, if you want to become a people-facing music producer and DJ, then having a sense of personal style will help you get your brand across. So I'm going to be showing you a couple outfits today and everything I've shown you today are affordable items that you can pick up at H&M or Uniqlo. You don't have to spend that much to look great today. So I wanted to make sure to keep it affordable. And by the way, my name is Stranger. If you're here to improve your life as a music producer, then this channel is for you. It'd be awesome if you can hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so more people like you can find my videos. All right, so we're gonna be building our outfit starting with items from the bottom and building all the way to the top. So the first part to building a nice outfit for a music producer and DJ is to start with a nice pair of sneakers. So my go-to sneakers are usually the Nike Air Max 90s. I just love the silhouette of these. They just look very nice clean and stylish and give you that active look. So these are probably the most expensive items in my outfit. Everything else is a lot more affordable. If you can't afford the Air Max 90s, another go-to are the Nike SB Janoskis. Those are great shoes as well for music producer and DJs. It just gives you that nice active, clean, minimal look. I also like these SB Shane O'Neills. They're like a sleeker version of the Janoskis. Here's another pair of Air Max 90s. I like these because the top is all black. I grabbed these when I was in Hong Kong a couple years ago, and I do my best to keep these super clean. Once you have a nice pair of sneakers selected, then we want to build up and pair it with some nice trousers. So recently I've been feeling the more utility vibe pants. So those include cargos that have pockets on the side. They just give you that active look. So the ones I have here are H&M's black nylon cargo trousers. So they have a nice cuff at the bottom and they have some pockets on the side. So getting some joggers is nice because they give you that active look, especially good because for DJs and music producers, we're always on the go. So it really works with our lifestyles. And when you combine joggers with cargo pants, then it's super dope because now you have that utility vibe with that active look. So here's another pair of cargo joggers from H&M and this one comes in gray. This one is made with woven fabric this time. Also has a nice durable feel to them. Another reason why I like joggers is when you pair them with sneakers, they have a nice look to them. So I especially love the cut on these pants and oh, look at the pudge there. I mean, guys, it's the winter and come on, I put on a few pounds, but it's time to trim it down. But I especially like the pockets on these. They have additional zippers, which is great for us DJs who are always on the go. You might be on a gig and you might carry your USBs in your pocket and with the zippers, you'll be sure never to lose your USBs ever again. All right, working our way up, once you have the pants selected, then it's all about choosing some tops. So lately I've been feeling these oversized t-shirts. They just give you a nice loose feel. Again, works with that active look for DJs and music producers. And the ones I have here are HMM's Organic Cotton. They have a nice sturdy feel to them and I love the way that, that they fit. So the way I like to wear these shirts is I like to roll the sleeves up by one and a half. So I roll the sleeves up one and then the, on the outside half I roll it up again and that gives you a nice and classy look to the shirt. So here I'm pairing the shirt with the black joggers and a black Deviant Audio cap. Link below if you're interested in the cap. In terms of colors, I usually choose neutral such as 
grays, uh, cream whites, and blacks because those colors are easy to match together. Here's another oversized t-shirt. This one's from Uniqlo's Arism collection. I love these ones because they have this stretchy, silky material to them and they feel super comfortable. And this one I got is a faded brown color which should work nice with my black joggers. Actually, they ended up looking a lot better with the gray joggers and then pairing with the gray Stussy hat. So once you have the basics selected, you have your bottoms and your tops, then you can start layering the tops. So I like to layer my t-shirt with an over shirt. So I got this oversized button up that can work well with uh, your t-shirt. This one again is from H&M and it comes in this gray cream white combo. So it should work well with all the other color combinations that I have today. So this oversized shirt looked quite nice with the off-white t-shirt. I just love these oversized cuts. They just feel comfortable and give you a relaxed look. So I'm wearing a sized medium here. It pairs nice with the black joggers and the black Air Max 90s. It's just a really dope and chill look. And sometimes I like to button it up. Just leave the top and bottom buttons undone to maintain that relaxed vibe. The thing about these oversized cuts is that the proportions are cut right to your size. It's not like buying a shirt that's a couple sizes up because then it'll just look weird. So just make sure you buy the right size for your body type. So another good way to layer on your t-shirts is to adding a vest. So I found this nylon active vest from H&M. I like this because it has several pockets on the side and the pockets add to that utility active look. This should work well with my outfit as well. So I'm pairing this with the faded brown t-shirt and the gray joggers and the black vest just goes well with this color set. I really like the material on this and it has a nice and comfy fit to it. These pieces are perfect for this time of the year, especially when we're transitioning into springtime. Again, lots of pockets with this vest and you can never have enough pockets, especially for us DJs. Overall, love this outfit. I think I might keep it. So if you're going out for a gig, it might be nice to have a nice jacket on top. So I, have, I found this button up jacket that comes in olive green. Again, has that military vibe to it and it'd be a nice addition, especially for an evening outfit. So this military green jacket goes well with the brown and gray colorway. Pieces like these are nice, especially if you're going out because those collars give you a classy look, especially good for us people that don't really like to dress up. And if all else fails, you can never go wrong with a nice black hoodie. So I found this nice hoodie from H&M, again from their organic cotton collection. I think it's called their Conscious Choice collection. Love the feel of this fabric. It's uh, really rugged and sturdy. Again, it comes in this oversized cut, so it looks nice, loose and active and should pair nice with the joggers. So these H&M hoodies also come in the oversized cut and I like to tuck the bottom rib underneath to give it that puffy look. So I decided to pair the black hoodie with the off-white shirt and the black joggers and I'm topping off this look with a black Stussy snapback. The white shirt just adds a nice accent to the all black look. All right, so those are my spring outfits for music producers and DJs. Comment down below and let me know which one you like most. One, two, three, or four. All right, so that's it. I just wanted to show you a few outfits and a few tips that I've learned along the way to help you develop a sense of personal style. Remember, it's choosing a few basic elements, layering, and choosing colors that work well together. And if you're a beginner, just stick with neutrals. Choose blacks, grays, cream whites, and even faded browns and greens. They tend to all work well together. Of course, choosing the right fit is important. So get something that fits right for your body type. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as we expand on the content and hopefully you picked up a few things here and there so you can improve on your personal style. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. All that helps my channel grow. Anyways, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, keep practicing, and I'll see you at the next video. Hey, if you want to support, you can check out my products in the link below. My rollers kit for Ableton is out now, containing 23 modular instruments and over 400 MIDI and audio patterns. 
use it to spark creativity for your next track. For the most upfront sounds and bass music, you can grab my Gnarly Serum Pack or Wubs and Wobbles for Vital. You can also check out my Jungle and Liquid Ableton production kits. Hint, if you don't have Ableton, you can grab the Wave Packs. If you're not ready to buy yet, you can always check out my free products also in the link below. Anyways, always appreciate your support. Have fun creating!